It's beer o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Chadlington Brewery and this is a bottle of their Chadlington Best Bitter. There's a look at the label. 4% ABV, 500ml bottle. There's a look at it. Gold bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Oh, we had a bit of a bit of a fiery opening on this one. Always open my beers over the sink. Looking like a best bit of mind you. Amber in colour. There we go. Yeah, a nice chestnutty coloured best bitter. One finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Slightly hazy looking beer. Again, I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned it many times, haven't I? Um, always open your beers over your sink. If you're buying a beer from a microbrewery, they don't have the greatest of controls like your Fosters or your Castlemaine Four X's or your Holston Pilsners. You know, when was the last time one of those beers opened like that? You know, it's a bit lively for you. It doesn't happen. They have greater control over their beers because they make a ton of money and they put a ton of research into why beers blow when you open them and then they just fix it. Being a small craft brewer, micro brewer, they don't have the same luxuries. It's almost like, you know, they, they try their very best for their beers not to do that. But sometimes it happens. So every time I open a beer from a craft brewer or a micro brewery, I open it over the sink. I'm not, I've lost a little bit of beer. I'm not going to, where, where's the 500 mil line? It's a one pint, so I suppose it could be a little bit higher, but um, I'm not going to overly complain about that too much. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Oh, it's biscuity and bready and nutty. There's a little bit of raisin in here, plum, fig and prune. Caramel malt, hmm. Oh, it's got a really good character to this beer. This, a really good kind of... I'm drinking this on an autumn... Oh, I will be drinking this on an autumn's day. It's slightly kind of windy and blowy out there. The leaves are falling off the trees and... I've got this nice chestnutty premium ale in my hand. It's that kind of straddling beer, isn't it? I've enjoyed my IPAs over the summer. My session IPAs, drinkable beers. And now we're moving over. We're not quite stout season yet. But we're moving over into the premium ales, you know, where you want something with a little bit more body, a little bit more kind of bang for your buck, if you like, in terms of malt quality. And this certainly has that in droves. It smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Really lovely biscuity bready taste. Great drinkability. The malt quality is like walking through a French kind of field. Walking to the nearest French village and you come across, you know, your baker that's just making fresh baguettes or freshly baked bread. You get that kind of slight doughiness that that slight kind of toasty biscuity fresh bread feel about the beer on top of that you have the hops on the back end which is giving off a spicy peppery slightly tangerine marmalade like note and it's 
although I was talking about a big malt backbone earlier on, it's what I was talking about between the refreshing New England IPAs in the summer, or your Session IPAs, your American Pale Ales, your Saisons, that sort of thing, and then going over to Winter Stouts, where this is not as drinkable as a Session IPA, it's not as refreshing, but at the same time it's not as thick and bold as a stout. It's sitting in that kind of autumn area of, 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 of beer. Now, now, I know I'm talking about this quite a lot, this autumn feel to the drink. But people drink this all year round. People that drink this style of beer all year round. By, by the millions of gallons that the, the, the best bitters sell all over the UK. Um, it's not like just everybody drinks it in between summer and winter. You know, autumn. It's not like that. But it, it, it gives you that feeling. I suppose if I was to change it a little bit and say, if I was to choose when to drink a good best bitter or a premium ale, then I'd probably choose to, to drink it September, October time. Or maybe March, April on the other end of the spectrum. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I like the touch of licorice that's in here. Touch of licorice, toffee malts coming through, biscuity, bready. Yeah, it's a decent beer. This is, this is sit next to the kind of fire with your afternoon tablet phone reading the news I, w I i used to say newspaper but nobody reads newspapers anymore i suppose if you if, you, if you're a really old person in the pub then you probably still have a newspaper um and you're and next to the fire with your beer you know to keep him warm but generally these days it's it's all about your phone and your tablet with one of these types of beers right Chadlington Brewery from Chadlington in Oxfordshire in England, uh, known as the Oxford Beer. Chadlington Brewery is passionate about the art of brewing beer. We take our inspiration from the glorious Oxfordshire countryside to create great tasting beers that everyone can enjoy. Brewed using only natural ingredients, including the finest English hops and malt. Oxford's best is Oxfordshire's very own classic bitter. Please enjoy responsibly, of course. I'm not going to talk about drinking responsibly anymore. I've, I've done it enough with this brewery's beers. They've chosen to stick that on the end. I'm not going to... No, no, I've I passed. Passed discussing it. I always drink responsibly. Look, look at the time. Quarter to ten in the morning. I always drink responsibly. Rating for this best bitter then. I like it. I like the nuttiness, the breadiness, the biscuitiness, that touch of licorice, the spiciness, the pepperiness. There's so much going on with this beer. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.